so here's the first problematic pilot, I would say. So, uh, Dan and Kuprivnica, we have two rough ideas for now on how to tackle the pilot case. We don't have, we haven't settled yet. Uh, both of them share one common thing, and that is incorporating public participative planning through online platform. So that's something we want to do, have to do. We're not going without it. Uh, one case for one case we know where it where it would take place, but for now like the concrete idea, and for the other one we know what would be done, but are uncertain of of exact place. First idea we have is to give Campus Koprivnica a function to match make vacant commercial business spaces and potential users. Uh, Campus Koprivnica is on the site of a former military barracks. You will see it in the next slide. And the second one is to implement a shared space concept at one of Koprivnica's crossroads, which would be the first example of that in the whole of Croatia. Uh, we have it, that's the idea that's popular now. We would like to try it, but we're not exactly sure how it fits Agora. Uh, what should be noted is that series of meetings between Koprivnica and us, Dan, are to take place next week, after which we should have a much, much clearer picture. We would like to use this training seminar to give, to have the advices from you if you have any, and maybe give us some rough ideas on what maybe the third option would be. Can you, Barbara, please uh, get to the next slide? Yeah, thank you. So on the left side is that Campus Koprivnica. So it's a former military barrack renovated in the last few years, not wholly, but much so. And gen the generic idea for now is to give it a function to match make vacant spaces and potential users. So there are many vacant places in uh, vacant spaces at the site, but we don't have uh, the matchmaking potential now to uh, combine those spaces with potential users. The second one is, and that's the rough concept for now, so Koprivnica has its own sustainable urban mobility plan. It's, I think, five or six years old. Uh, in, that, uh, in that plan, it, it was planned to start and try with shared space concepts in traffic. Uh, but we are not sure uh, if it would fit the Agora project and how it would fit. So that's all for now from us. If you have any questions, just shoot. Thank you. Uh, Sarin is asking if the uh, municipality is the owner of the barracks. If the municipality owns the barracks. Yes. So barracks are in um, uh, ownership of the campus Koprivnica, which is a firm in ownership of city of Koprivnica. So technically, yes, city of Koprivnica owns the barracks. Uh, there is one question from Emilia. Uh, if you can specify what do you mean with matchmaking potential? Maybe I used the uh, wrong words, but uh, <laughs> uh, so how I look at it, if you have many vacant spaces, let's say about 50% of the whole area is vacant and there are potential users, then there is a potential to uh, get those users into those spaces. That's what I meant uh, when I said matchmaking potential, if it makes any sense to any of us. Any of you? Uh, what is the use of the barracks now? Huh? Are they all empty or are there some activities? Uh... No, 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 no. The initial phase was to put uh, University North in uh, those barracks. This is the, I think is, okay. Uh, it's the youngest university in Croatia by now and it's uh, working at that site. Uh, other than that, there is the firm Campus Koprivnica, which I already mentioned, and uh, the last that I know that happened there was that the kindergarten came there. So it's developing, it's going slowly, but it's going. I'd say about 50% spaces are vacant and 50% are pretty, in pretty good use. 
it's what uh, this is. Uh, I think that this campus is uh, it fits. This is like my opinion more to the agora, and it's because it's a uh, it's very challenging, and um, but for this uh, shared space concept, I know it's a smaller project which is much easily to implement. Uh, but I think that, uh, like I said, this is the initial phase, you know, of the of the presentation of pilots. So um, maybe there are also some other opinions or suggestions, you know, which could uh, support them at this stage. Uh, what I'm not sure about the shared space concept is that it's. Uh, it's about traffic, and I'm not really sure how traffic would fit Agora project. That's the main problem for me, personal. If I can. Yes, yes, Irin, please. Uh, it is uh, very charming in these times to, to um, tackle mobility issues and uh, everything related to this, considering the general global agenda towards 15 minute city and uh, I don't know, uh, shared spaces and more uh, su sustainable, energy efficient, greener means of transport, etc. cetera. Um, in my opinion, both of them um, can fit the Agora project. In the first one, we can see clear uh, the actors that could be engaged and uh, maybe also, I don't know, maybe it will be clearer for you after you uh, talk with the municipality and see what are their um, strategies of how they want to uh, develop or raise the, the, also economically the area. So I yeah, think the, the imbalance is uh, a group uh, strategy on mobility of the city um, showing itself that it's in line with the with the trends and Agora for sure can help also with this and uh, identify map potential um, shared space areas and find the the um, people who will engage on this. Uh, on the other hand, uh, I think here we will have a really interesting combination of uh, also private interests, uh, NGOs, and also you mentioned about the university, which I think it's uh, very, will be very interesting from this kind of point of view. Uh, the question here is how uh, open are the citizens to this kind of uh, new mobility um, Solutions. Patterns, <laughs> behaviors, yeah. and because this is a lot of, <laughs> we are coming back and forth to these questions every time when we talked about the 50 minute city or a closing uh, center, central areas in cities, especially um, in not so Western oriented, uh, um, not mindsets, but yeah, travel behaviors, let's say. I don't know yeah, if I. That's something we should firstly ask the citizens if they would like it and if we would go with that, I'm sure it would be in some suburb or somewhere where it's, um, how would I say, where it's not nice, noisy or where it's uh, low traffic, I'd say. To experiment with that, it's not, to, it's not good to start with it on the major crossroads in the city. Because there was a lot of people against it. Yeah. Okay. Philip, can I raise a question? Do we still have time, Barbara? Yes, yes. The, we will devote it. It's because it's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Philip, for description. Um, if I got it right, uh, the, this area was already regenerated in a way. So somebody put the money into it. Yeah. Um, but now the problem is that the places are vacant, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you should start uh, discovering what could, could help um, fill in these vacant spaces. And uh, it's not necessarily the sh shared space that it will help you really find the potential users of these places. So um, 
I would go one step back and ask yourself what's the real problem of the area and what kind of um, strategies can help solve it. And then maybe the shared space would be one of the, the questions, uh, the, the answers. Um, but I'm quite surprised that somebody put quite a lot of money into regeneration without this business plan. And I wonder who was the investor? Was this a public part, a private partnership or how did it go? Who invested I'm, the money so far? I'm not 100% sure now. We're talking about uh, campus, the military barracks. Yes. Uh, I'm not 100%. I'm not from Koprivnica, so that's not my really local business. But uh, if university came in, I would assume that states uh, invest in it and uh, municipality. I don't think that uh, private enterprises uh, have invested there for now. Maybe the idea you know, when you, yes. maybe the idea when you will have uh, the meeting to raise those questions, you know. Um, yeah, we have. We, uh, I'm, I, I sent you the email on the Tuesday. Yes, we have yes, a yes. pretty big meeting uh, for pilot case uh, in uh, Koprivnica. We already have a set of, I don't know, 10, 15 big questions. We, we have to solve them and start. So okay. I'm 100% sure that next week we will have a clear picture. Okay, great. We are looking forward. If we move on, uh, thank you, Philip. Uh, yeah, thank you.